to my new video on Minecraft bucket server plugins and how to install and use them. Um, today, the plugin we're going to be going over is Citizens. And Citizens is just an NPC bucket mod, no uh, client mods or MySQL or anything needed. And it's just NPCs that you could add to your, to your server, you know, just to kind of occupy players kind of make your server kind of stand out more and all this other great stuff so what you want to do is first I'm going to have these links in the description and you also need vault for this to work you need a vault vault for the systems to work so what you're going to do you're going to go systems and I'll have the vault um, link in the description as well so you're going to go to download download and it's going to save file Okay, now that you have that download, go to Vault, Download, Download, and you know, save. Okay, so now you can exit that and you can minimize that. So now here's my uh, server information and run. So now you want to go to where you save your plugins. Alright, you want to open up Citizens, and you want to drag in citizens.jar oh let me get rid of these so drag in citizens.jar and then you can exit out of that and you're going to go down and look for vault and you're going to drag that in so now you have vault and citizens so now I go back and restart your server alright so everything loaded fine no severe errors or anything so now once you have this you go to your server okay so uh... sorry about this this is uh... for my last photo alright so now we're gonna set an npc so npc to in order to set an npc you're gonna do npc create and then whatever you want the name to be, let's uh let's just do Bob. Okay, so now there's Bob and he will follow you. So now what you want to do is uh when you wanna add text to our uh NPC, so you wanna right click him. If you don't have him select already now, you're gonna do slash NPC add and then make him say hello. So now you set Bob's or whatever your NPC's name is uh, text. So now what you're gonna do to make him talk when you're up close to him, you're gonna do slash NPC talk close. So now in the in the chat it says Bob hello. So now when you go next to him, he says hello. And also you can make him a traitor, so let's do slash NPC or no slash toggle trader oh, slash oh yeah um right now i don't have the um thing to do that but what you want to do we're going to disconnect and i'm going to show you how to do add uh, traders and blacksmiths okay so once you have your citizens 1.2 zip file you'll see you have a folder called types you know go to your plugins and it'll say citizens you know open up that and you'll see types right there but there are no types in here. So what you want to do is click and drag, drag and drop this in. And it'll say, do you want to merge? And it'll say yes. And let's stop this real quick, forgot. Okay, so now once you have done that, you can go to plugins, new folder, and you can start your server. Okay, everything loaded fine, so now let's log back in. Okay, so there's Bob. Yep. Okay, so you want to right click him. It says you selected Bob ID 0. So you slash NPC. Or no, slash toggle trader. So now Bob is now a trader, so when you right click him, you see his inventory. So now we're going to add stuff to his inventory. 
Add some diamonds, some diamond armor. We're gonna add some gold armor. All right, so in game and you have your NPC and you have what you want to give them. So I'm gonna try to find some uh, diamonds real quick, diamonds. All right, so you wanna right click them and I already have armor in there from, we're gonna add in some diamond. All right, so now we're gonna do slash trader help. And it'll show all the trader commands. So you're gonna do slash trader sell item ID. I can't remember what the item ID was. It'll just set one. I can't remember the item ID for diamond. So we're gonna do one, four, ten. But you're gonna need an economy or economy, economy six most likely to uh, run this. So in order to, if you have economy or economy, whatever, whatever plugin you specifically use for money and all that other stuff. So pretty much you're gonna do s trader, sell item ID. So for example, I'll just put one. And then how much you want to sell for? So ten dollars or ten gold ingots or ten gold, ten gold coins, whatever you guys go by for economy. And then he will sell it. So every time you go in and you buy from him or you trade from him, he will give you one stone or item ID, whatever you put in for the item ID for him to sell. It will take that money away from you and it will go to him. And if you want him to buy from you, you do slash trader buy the item ID, so one for ten dollars. So now once you do that, you can go in and you could sell him the stone and he'll give you the money. And then there's some other ones. There's um blacksmith, I think. Blacksmith. Blacksmith help. And then slash wizard they we have wizard on here and then we have some other ones but i don't want to go over them so this is pretty much it for uh the npc plugin there's some other commands but i don't want to go over them because it'll kind of extend the you know the, pl the gameplay and i want to spend you guys time just going watching this video and you know you guys can experiment on this plugin for yourself just look around and you could equip them, just do slash npc equip. And what you do is you get, choose the armor that you want them to have and the sword. Or whatever you want to give it to them. Just right click on them and it'll give them it. And then there he goes, he's all set. And I just took everything from him, whoopsie daisy. So I'm going to give everything back to him real quick. And I keep on taking it from him. But yeah, that's how you equip. And that's pretty much all I'm going to be showing for this tutorial. You can just go and experiment some more. Also, if you do slash npc create guard, um, most likely there will be a master chief suit from like Halo. So npc create guard. Oops, slash npc create guard. Yep, there he goes. But the head is black, it's just a little bug. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the um for the plugin. It's really cool. Uh, I use it for my server. It's really really handy for like giving rules or something, just a cool effect to your server. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, comment and subscribe, uh, request some plug plugins for me. And please don't request me MySQL plugins because I don't like to use MySQL. It's really confusing and it's really annoying to do. So I hope you guys get this plugin. Uh, it's free, obviously. And I'll have the links in the description. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.